Hello makers and welcome to Sheer Stitchery. I'm Katherine Harris and if you're new here, I do sewing and DIY tutorials each week. So hit that subscribe button down below. This week is a continuation from last week where we decided to make some leggings and I thought it would be a good idea to make a sports bra to go with your leggings so you have a complete outfit to work out in. So I decided to do the Power Sports Bra by Greenstyle Patterns and I chose to do the strappy back. So let's get to it. Power mesh interlining. So first, what we're going to do is we are going to cut out all of our pieces with power mesh as well. So you've got your lining, your front, and then the power mesh. Then we're going to base those together just by stitching around the outsides of them on your front facing pieces. And so then it says that we need to cut off a little extra along the cup here. So I've just basted it along there. And then I'm gonna slice that off with my rotary cutter just exactly as the pattern tells you to. So just make sure you line that up and you're getting them done correctly, as well as making sure you have a right and a left if your fabric is difficult to tell the right side and the wrong side from. And just along the top here. Next is the front of the bra. So we're going to stitch in the cup to the side front. So we've got our front panel and then the two side cup pieces, which will form the sports bra. So just use a generous amount of pins as you're putting that in and then stitch around those seams and do the exact same thing for your lining pieces as well. So there's the front and the two cup pieces. So it will begin to look like this once you're done. Now on the front, push the seams out towards the opposite side, and then on the lining, push them in the opposite direction. And I've top stitched using a lightning stitch just along there to hold those seams down and in place. That way, when we sandwich them together, they are going to lie nice and flat for you. Next is the back band. So you're going to select the band that you chose. I'm doing the strappy back. So my band looks like this. And I also cut one of power mesh on this. Now power mesh is a substance that gives it a little bit more strength and support within that bra. And as a sports bra, I wanna make sure that it has some support in there. And I'm just pinning the top and then I am cutting off the bottom portion of the front of the fabric. So not on the lining, just on the front pieces. And then we are going to stitch the back band towards on the lining on the side pieces as well as on the front. So the front pieces are all interlined with power mesh. So I'm just pinning the sides of the band to the sides of the bra and then we're going to stitch that in place. Now for the strappy cross back. So this we are going to start with making some of the straps. So you're going to take your strap piece and we start off with our pattern piece right here. And then we are going to fold it in half and then you're going to place your clear elastic just on top. Don't stretch the clear elastic, just leave it as it is. And you don't necessarily need to pin it, but for this tutorial sake, I'm going to pin it so you can see exactly how those steps go. Plus then you make sure you've got it all nice and straight. Take it to the machine. We're going to switch to a three-step zigzag and we're going to lower the width to 3.5 and lower our stitch length to 1.4. I'm starting with a piece of tissue paper here. If you need some help on working with slinky fabrics, I'll leave the tutorial in the description down below and a card up here. And just stitch right down the middle of that elastic. And you see how the elastic's right in the middle here. Now here's the fun part. You're going to trim off the excess end right along the edge of your clear elastic. Now we're going to get a pin and then we're going to just clip it to the front and then we're just going to feed it through. And when you pull it out, you have a perfectly formed strap. 
and it's nice and it won't lose its shape or stretch out on you because it has that clear elastic in it. It's absolutely fantastic. You might have to roll it a little bit in your hand to make sure that it's pressed the right way. Next, because your straps do get a little stretched out when you do this, you just need to take them back to the pattern piece and true them up. See, mine have gotten just slightly longer than they were originally, because we want to make sure that they fit according to how they're supposed to. So next, you can see the different straps here, and I am just going to use a piece of Wonder Tape and just clear off the extra. I wanted to make sure that it is within my seam allowance, which is why I cut off that excess. And then I'm going to take my two strap bands and I'm going to attach them right sides together, going face down on the front of my sports bra here. And I wanna make sure that they're right in the middle and I have the longer one on the outside and the shorter one on the inside. And then I am just going to use some wonder clips and pin them in place and stitch them across. And that was done on the lining piece. Next, you're going to attach at that top seam here and along the neck seam and all along the top, we're going to pin this, but we still need a way for us to attach the straps at the back. So there are markings on the pattern that you are going to want to leave. I've marked them with double pins where you don't stitch in between those double pins. And now we're going to flip it right side out and I'm just checking here and see how it's a bit boxy. I don't like that. So I'm going to take it back to my machine and then I'm going to feel where those straps are on the lining side because it's a little bit thinner and it's easier to tell. And then I'm going to create that taper on my machine. So I've done that. And then I am going to double check it, make sure it looks good. And it does. Now we can clip off that excess so you don't got a lot of bulk along the area where your straps are. And next, I suggest you try it on to make sure that the straps fit. I'm just trying it on my dress form because my dress form matches my body shape and it's a little bit easier and a little less awkward in a tutorial setting. So I'm just pulling the straps to where they need to be on the pattern piece and it seems that my straps look good. So this is the order that you want to do your straps in. So I'm going to leave the icon up there so it gives you a good idea of how you're going to interlace this. So first, let's do a quick dry run on where all the straps are going to go. So I am just practicing here on how I'm going to flip it over so that you can see how I'm interlacing these straps. That being said, what you're going to do is you're going to st stitch the top straps first. So those are the ones that go in the top here. When you are doing it, you want to make sure that you're not twisting any of the straps. That would be incredibly uncomfortable. Plus it probably wouldn't look the greatest either. So I am just putting it in here. So I've got straps one and two in place and now I've got straps three and I'm working on the final strap four. And so just showing you that it is going in at an angle. You don't wanna put them straight up and down or it's not going to lie quite right. So you wanna make sure it goes in at that angle. So you can see the different angles that I've got the straps going in at. And it's more of a deeper angle on the lower ones and a more shallower angle on the top ones. So just kind of showing you where those angles are going and just how I'm interlacing them. So over one, under the other, and then down to the bottom. And there you go. Again, with some of those angles, just double checking, making sure nothing is uh, twisted or anything like that. And then we can get on to actually sewing them in place. You can see how they're weaving in and out going up and down, just double check your cross hatching on that weave because once you've stitched them in place, it will be a bother to unpick, especially if you've ever worked with performance fabric before. So what I'm doing is I'm just taking off the two bottom ones because the ones that we want to stitch right now are the top two. So you can see I've stitched those in place. They look good. So then the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to put in our elastic so this clear elastic is going to go all the way around 
and we're just going to start it on the side. So I decided to put the back seam on the side as opposed to um, along the back here, but you can see that I've got it all pinned in place. Then we're gonna take it to our machine and we're going to serge that with a wide zigzag stitch so it's nice and stretchy. And that really helps to form that top line along the neckline. And then I'm just going to go over that with a lightning stitch to top stitch it in place. I've got a little thread here. here. I'm just gonna clip that out right now. And so now that I have come back, you can see that I've got it all nicely top stitched. You could use a twin needle if you wanted to. Now we're going to weave in our bottom straps. So we're just going to weave that in and then attach it along the bottom band here. So it's that opening that you have right here. And then I'm just going to weave this one over and then under and attach it. And I do have markings there. You can't really see it on screen here, but there are some chalk markings. Next is optional bra cups. So I decided to put in some bra cups just for a little extra support when I'm doing some more high impact sports. And what I've done is I've put it on my dress form and I'm just pinning them where they go. What you can also do is pin it on yourself, which is probably even better than a dress form because your weight is distributed differently on yourself as opposed to a standard dress form like the one I just showed. So next what I'm doing is I am taking out the pins on the front layer and pinning the bra cup only to the lining. So you're going to go around and do that on both bra cups. So you have everything pinned just to the lining. And then once that is done, you're going to move the top away. And you're going to stitch that in place along the lining section here. Next is the bottom band. So I went ahead and I zigzagged all around the bottom band just to hold everything in place. And now we are going to get to putting in that band. And I decided to go with the gray contrasting band to match my straps. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to fold it in half, right sides together, and then we're going to stitch along the short end. Open it up, finger press, because this fabric does not press well with an iron. Don't even bother trying. And then you're going to match up those centers. And I like to match the both ends and then the sides, so you've basically quartered it. And then it gives a nice quarter for when you're doing it with your bra. So I wanted to make my end of my band where I have the seam on one of the sides under my arms, because that is less noticeable than at the back. So that is what I'm doing. That being said, the next time I make this, I'm going to put it in the back and I'm going to have a closure in the back that I can open it up with. Oh, it'd be so much easier to open up the bra as opposed to wrinkling it off your head here. So next thing we're going to do is we are just going to attach that with pins all the way around on the bra, just along the base here. But one thing to note, you need to leave a small gap to which we're going to insert our elastic. So stitch all the way around and leave a nice size gap. And I also surged the edges just because it makes it a little nicer, more finished. And that's what that looks like now. Next, we're going to insert our wide elastic. So take your trusty safety pin and insert that elastic through the band. Now, when you are pushing it through, be very careful not to twist it. You will very quickly find out if it is twisted once you get to the end. And so pop that all the way around and pull it out and just distribute all the fabric evenly and then pull out the elastic and overlap them one over the other. So not two ends together. This way it's a lot flatter and it is nicer on the skin. So I've done three rows of zigzag stitching here and then I'm gonna pop that back in place and just make sure everything's nice and flat. And then we're going to pop it back over to our serger and we're just gonna serge that end closed. There you go. And then you can fold that down. The next thing to do to finish it is to do some top stitching. So you're just going to make sure that your seam allowance is folded down towards the band. And then you're going to do your decorative stitches. I did a wide triple zigzag stitch along here, but you could use a twin needle or even a lightning stitch on that. 
your sports bra is all done. There you have it. A nice sports bra that you can add to your wardrobe. This sports bra is incredibly comfortable and fits so well. I really enjoy making it and I know it's going to become a new staple in my wardrobe. Now, if I was going to make it again, there is one change that I would do. I would create a latched back so that you could open it up, just making it, taking it on and off a little bit easier, especially after working out. And when I do that hack, I'll be sure to do a video on that and share it with you guys as well. If you have any tips or tricks that you want to share, leave them in the comments down below. And as always, don't forget to like this video. Until next time, makers, let's get our so on. Ta -da.